Welcome back. This is Today, and we continue to showcase for, uh, Formidable Women this Women's Month. And UCT alumnus uh, Masako Mosupie is certainly one of them. She's on a mission to get young women to consider STEM careers. That's science, technology, engineering, and maths, something I definitely would have avoided. Through an MPO, SA Woman in Engineering, Mosupie is equipping a young sea cadet with skills for the tech sector. She joins us now from Cape Town. A very good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, Masako, and thank you for joining us. I said in my intro that it's something that I would certainly avoid because it was so intimidating back when I was at school. And I found that there was not the level of patience that one who is so afraid of numbers and concepts that are included in science and maths and the like, uh, that teachers were patient enough to break down. So tell us a little bit about your NPO and how you are attracting young women to the these are subjects. Um, first of all, I'd like to say thank you so much for the opportunity and the exposure. Um, SA Women is an organization that has been in existence for quite some time. It is not my NPO. I've only joined as an ambassador. And their plan or their campaign is to get one million girls in STEM careers, as the, the, the topic says. So basically, we are trying to share our experiences as women in STEM for young girls to understand that there is no need to fear joining these careers because you can find fulfillment in them also. Tell us a little bit about uh, your journey in engaging with uh, different young women and some of the challenges that they perhaps face uh, when it comes to these subjects. And I ask this because it is the direction that the world is moving towards and these are going to be critical skills or subjects to be um, uh, knowledgeable on as we move into a different world. Well, most of the challenges that the young girls experience is bias. And the, the communities that we are growing up in, we are told that some careers are only meant for men. You find that when a young girl is more interested in building stuff, they're like, no, men are the ones that are supposed to be building. You are supposed to be inside the house, decorating, you know, all those other careers that were always deemed to be for women. So. That's one of the challenges that the, the campaign is trying to overcome, the bias that is forcing young girls to get into careers just because they were told that STEM careers are only for men. Mm -hmm. and, and do you find that young women are uh, interested in these subjects that they would in other situations or under different circumstances be uh, gunning for those subjects as opposed to what we're used to when it comes to um, home economics or um, economics or any other subject that's not related uh, to STEM careers? Yes, most definitely. The moment they get exposed to the careers in STEM, they get more knowledge about it. They get to see someone who is comfortable operating in such a career. And it, it gives them that confidence that if she can do it and she's so happy in it, I can also find fulfillment in such a career. Mm. And what about government involvement uh, when it comes to um, providing the resources and the support for women to be a part of these subjects and to pursue careers of uh, this nature? Do you find that there's enough support from government and related stakeholders? To be honest, yes, there is support. It's just that there is no awareness. There are a lot of campaigns that government offers. There are a lot of bursaries that are tailored for females that you could um, get into that young girls in schools do not know about. So if they knew more about them, then they would be able to pursue them and go into STEM careers. Yeah. And when we talk about careers, uh, STEM careers, Masako, give us a sense of what exactly it is we're talking about here. We do know about engineering, but with the direction that the world is taking, give us a sense of the kind of career that you'd be pursuing um, after you become uh, equipped with uh, STEM-related um, uh, um, um, qualifications. Okay, so STEM stands for science technology, engineering, and mathematics. 
So STEM careers are careers that encompass those four areas. So you could be a scientist, you could be a technologist, you could be a technician, an artisan, an engineer, a biomedical engineer. It's, the, it's very vast. Yes. There's a long list of it. And in my campaign, I try to, to present as many of them as I can and a bit of knowledge on um, what exactly each and every one of those does. So if I had more people join the, the, um, the initiative, then I could have a larger body of people who have actually been through these careers that can actually uh, expose the young girls more to them. Because I am a chemical engineer and I can only speak from the heart about my experiences as a chemical engineer. If I had more engineers or more scientists or more uh, chemists, for instance, who could come and also join and talk about their careers, then it would expose the girls more. Yeah, and I suppose your role as an ambassador here, Masako, and I think this is probably one of the most important components, is to encourage uh, these young professionals not to leave South Africa. We've seen a number of reports in the news and other media uh, where young people are looking for uh, skilled opportunities elsewhere in the world and leaving the country based on there being no employment opportunities or the lack of resources to perform their work. I mean... Are you concerned about that at all? Is it something that's included in your ambassadorship in terms of a, commun a, a message to communicate? Um, there are a lot of career opportunities in STEM in our country. Yes, a lot of us um, equip ourselves with enough skills and enough experience to be able to move overseas. But that is not necessary. We have a lot of challenges in our country that we need to overcome that need the knowledge of people in STEM careers. So, yes, it is part of my um, campaign to try and convince young girls that once they've joined the careers, they do not leave the country. They try to instill the skills that they have gained and in solving the problems that we have in our country. Yeah, no, Masako, thank you very much for your time this afternoon. Uh, that is Masako Musupia on her initiative, uh, or ambassadorship rather, to get more women to consider STEM careers.